In this video, we're going to be pitting Premium Plus versus Ultra to see how these two are different, how they're the same, and if Ultra is worth the extra money over Premium Plus, or if Premium Plus is actually a great paint for what you're looking for. I'm Ryan Cunningham with DIY Painting Tips, and let's dive in. Many consumers often feel the need to go with the more expensive product. It's, it's how we're wired. If it costs more, it must be better. But when it comes to paint, do we know why it's better? Do we know how it's better? Or do we just trust that if we pay more money, we must be getting something better and it must serve us better? The problem for most people is that when you're in the store and you're looking at these two and they have, say, a $10 price difference, you read the labels, you don't really know why. And it, is this something you should be paying extra for? If you go and ask the the person behind the counter, in all fairness, they probably haven't painted with them and they may not even know why either other than this is better because it costs more. That's why I'm pitting Bear Premium Plus versus Bear Ultra. I want to show you exactly how they're the same, how they're different, and in what situations it's worth going up to Ultra and what situations it's worth saving money and going with Premium Plus. By the way, I'll be doing this with more paints in the future, so make sure to turn on uh, notifications and subscribe so that you don't miss any of these in the future. So let's start by establishing exactly what these two paints are. Both these paints are made by Bayer and sold exclusively at the Home Depot. Now, Premium Plus is their entry-level interior paint, and Ultra Scuff Defense is their mid-level paint right below Marquee. Let's dive into some of the different aspects of both these paints and see exactly what does make them different. Let's start with the price. For all paints, you're gonna find that the flat sheen, the shine of the paint, is gonna be the cheapest. So that, that's what I'm gonna use for both these to establish a starting point. Now, know that in quartz, you're gonna usually go up about a dollar when you go from flat to eggshell, eggshell to satin, satin to semi-gloss, and semi-gloss to gloss. In the gallon, you're gonna go up a few dollars, and you know, obviously in the five gallon bucket, you're gonna go up a little bit more. So, premium plus pricing, in the quart, you're gonna spend about $14.98, well, in the gallon, you're gonna spend $28.98, and in the five gallon, you're gonna spend $135 for a five gallon bucket. In Ultra, for the quart, you're gonna spend $18.98, $37.98 for the gallon, and 181 for the five gallon bucket. So gallon wise, the most likely thing you're gonna buy, you're looking at $29 roughly versus $38 starting point. You're gonna go up a little bit more sheen. So to put this in a little bit of perspective, a large bedroom is typically gonna take about two gallons, which means you're gonna spend about $58 on Premium Plus, and you're gonna spend about $76 on Bear Ultra. A standard home is going to usually take about 15 gallons to paint all the interior walls, which means that on Premium Plus, you're going to spend about $435, and on Ultra, you'd spend about $570, meaning about $135 more to go up in this on your standard home. If you look at just the features list, if you go on to like Bear.com or Home Depot.com or even in the store and look at the features listed by Bear on the can or on the website, they're going to look very similar. Each paint's going to cover about 250 to 400 square feet per gallon depending on the surface you paint. And both can be used on drywall, masonry, stucco, wood, whatever you're looking to paint, they can pretty much handle it. They both have excellent hide, excellent coverage. They're both gonna promote stain resistance, scrubability. They're both also mildew resistant. They're self-priming, meaning you don't have to use a separate primer when you're painting your basic into your walls unless you have something like uh, severe water stains, oil, some, something significant. They both come with Bear's Lifetime Warranty, and I love Bear's Lifetime Warranty. They're, they're great at it. I, I've called them up and used it myself and they've replaced the product, done everything they're supposed to do. Bear does promote uh, Ultra as having extra scuff resistance, outstanding durability for high traffic areas. It says that literally on the page. And it also says it stays looking new longer. So far you might be thinking they basically sound like the same product. What are you getting at here? What's this video about? Well, obviously we can't see exactly how either one of these are made, but we can look at their technical data sheets 
and get a little bit more information about each one. And if you want to read those for yourself, they're going to both be listed in the description below, or you can check out a more detailed write-up of the difference of these on DIYPaintingTips.com. Again, link in the description. So one thing that's really important to me is the VOC content of a paint. And what you see on the technical data sheets listed for the VOC content is your starting point. When you add colorant in and everything, the VOCs do go up, but that starting point is important. VOCs are volatile organic compounds. Basically, it's the smell and that bad stuff for your body that can cause headaches, nausea, rough on people with asthma, babies, you know, it's just not good for the environment and it's not good for you. And when I'm out painting all day every day, I don't want to su subject myself to a high VOC product that I'm always breathing in fumes of. So both these are Green Guard certified, meaning they're both a low VOC product. But Premium Plus is actually considered a zero VOC product. And that means they have less than five grams per liter of VOCs. So that's about as low as you get in the painting world. Bear Ultra is considered a low VOC product, meaning it has less than 50 grams per liter of VOC content. So Bear Premium Plus actually wins when it comes to low VOC content. You're getting a little bit lower VOC content than the Bear Ultra. For a reference point for both these though, they are both very low, the federal government does limit flat paints to 250 grams per liter. So they both come in drastically lower than the government standard, but pretty much no paint manufacturers have any products that are coming out for residential use that are near those numbers anymore. And the more colorant you put in them, colorant has VOCs too. So keep that in mind that that's gonna raise your VOC content. So the one area I did find the difference between these two paints was in their independent lab tests. So there's a few independent lab tests that can be performed on interior paints to test their durability and a few other things. So Ultra claims to be more scuff resistant, look newer longer. So let's dive in and see what those independent labs said. So the first test we're gonna look at is the scrub test. And this test measures the resistance of paints to erosion by scrubbing. So basically how much you can scrub them before the paint kind of wears off and fails. The test is performed where they put a sample of the paint down on a, on a sheet and they have a little machine with a scrub brush and it goes back and forth, back and forth until they measure how many times they can scrub this paint until it actually fails. So Premium Plus actually performed really well on this test and completed over a thousand cycles in, before it failed. But Ultra beat it here significantly and scored over 4,000 cycles before the paint failed. So when they say it is you know, more scrubbable and everything, they have the test to prove it. It's four times as much as scrubbable as this paint is. But I do want to add here, how many people have ever repainted their walls because they've over scrubbed them and they're worn out? A thousand cycles, a thousand times scrubbing something is actually a ton. And I've read a few papers by other paint brands who don't like this test that claim that anything over 400 is just overkill. So we are significantly more scrubbable, but this paint is very scrubbable too. And for even the person above average who's gonna beat their walls even more and scrub them, this is a pretty scrubbable paint. So the second test I wanna look at is the burnish resistance test. And burnish resistance means if you've got a flat paint or something and you rub on it repeatedly, will it become shinier? Will it develop a little bit of gloss? Will it burnish? And sadly, I could not find the results on Premium Plus. Maybe this uh, wasn't tested. Maybe it performed poorly and they didn't want to release the results. I don't know, might be either one. But I did find the results on Bare Ultra. Now, this test would pertain to you, like let's say around a light switch. And if you look at some uh, walls around light switches, you'll see it almost looks a little glossy around there or around like a headboard on a bed where pillows and blankets have rubbed it a whole lot. So this test is performed where they take the gloss reading of a paint and then they, they put it in a similar machine to that scrub test, only this time it's got a cheesecloth on it 
And after so many cycles, they test the gloss again. So did it become glossier? So if you put a flat paint in, take your samples, scrub it, and then check it again. Did it get glossier? Does it resist burnishing? And after 50 cycles, Bear Ultra actually only increased two units in sheen, which is not noticeable. It's nothing. So it performed incredibly well, and it's, it's not gonna get shinier in those spots that get a little bit more beat up. Again, this test is a little overrated in my opinion. It does show that it is more durable. It is, you know, it handles burnishing better. Um, but is that a real thing you have to worry about in your home? Probably not. So when it comes to lab tests, Bear Ultra wins. But do these lab tests really prove a whole lot? In my opinion, they don't. Everyone who calls me to repaint their homes, they repaint because they wanna change color. They wanna change the look. They don't call me because our paint has failed. We've scrubbed it so much, it's not holding up anymore. Or, like in my house, I've got a bunch of kids and my walls get so dirty, I just repaint them. There is no washing my walls. They have permanent marker, they have spaghetti sauce, they have crayon, they have marker, they have everything, and I go, nope, I'm repainting that wall. There's no washing these walls anymore. So the only other thing I can add to the debate on Premium Plus versus Ultra is my own opinion, and I have painted, I, I'm guessing, somewhere in the hundreds of homes with each one of these. I love Bear products, and I use them a lot, and they both work fantastic. I have never bought Premium Plus and thought, man, if only I had a can of Ultra, this job would have gone better. And I have never used Ultra and thought, man, what a waste of money. You're getting a great product, especially when you compare the price point of these versus some of their competitors like Benjamin Moore and Sherwin-Williams, which we will dive into those in future videos, but you're gonna save a lot of money with Bear. So you really can't go wrong. But I do believe that almost everyone can go ahead with the Premium Plus, paint your whole home, and not have a problem in the world. You will get bored of the color and want to repaint before this paint ever fails on any of your walls. Or if it does, you probably abuse them so much that the most expensive paint you can find would have also failed. But there are definitely times where Ultra with Scuff Defense might be very a very sound decision. Let's say you run a daycare and you are gonna have kids and just light dirt on the walls a lot and you have to wash them or you have to sanitize them um, due to things like COVID and you have to wash the walls even if they don't look dirty. If you're washing your walls regularly um, just for germs, anything like that, let's say you're doing it every day, well then this probably is the right way to go. If you currently don't wash your walls for any reason, go this route. If you're a frequent wall washer, Scrub defense. So you're probably not gonna change after you paint your walls. So again, if you currently wash your walls, why not? A little bit of extra money, it's not that much more, and you know that it's not gonna wear out. If you don't wash them, if you're a repainter, if you touch up, or if you only scrub them once every couple months, then you're gonna be just fine with Premium Plus. Also worth noting, if you're sensitive to smells, if you got a baby in the house, if you got kids with asthma, or you're just a little bit more worried about the environment, go ahead and go with the Premium Plus. <clears throat> it's a zero VOC paint, and Ultra is a low VOC. You're not gonna have any problems there, but if you wanna just go a little step further while saving some money, go with the zero VOC paint. Hopefully I've helped you out with your decision between Bear Ultra and Bear Premium Plus, and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Until then, make sure to subscribe, Turn on the notifications and like this video if you liked it. That really helps me out. It helps me make more videos just like this. So, till next time, I'm Ryan and thanks for watching.